Hey everyone, it's Rich Warner from consumermathlab.blogspot.com and also wealthmaxbuilder.com. Today I'm going to show you how to format fractions, superscripts, and recurring decimals using Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. I'd like to say at the outset that I'll be alternating between Microsoft Word and PowerPoint to show you the similarities and slight differences between the two programs in order to format fractions, superscripts, and recurring decimals. Here we go. And let's begin with fractions. Let's say you had to type out the fraction 3 fourths as an example. To do this in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, it's quite easy. All you need to do is head on over to the Insert tab at the top and then mosey on over to the right to the Pi icon, this one right here. Uh, or the equation icon. And when you click on that, you'll see that you'll get access to a bunch of mathematical symbols here. Everything from plus minus to the Google symbol, uh, equals, not equals, about equals, multiplication, division, factorials, less than, greater than, open parentheses, square roots, you name it. It's all here. And then on the right hand side here, you have access to all these. Um, scientific notations as well. So in this case we want a fraction. So let's click on this X over Y icon and notice that you'll have a choice of different formats how to present your fractions. I happen to prefer the one on the left so I'll just click on this and notice that you get this small box which is asking you to input a numerator and then a denominator. So since we're working with three-fourths we just click our mouse in the numerator box and type in 3 and then we click our mouse in the denominator box and type in 4. Then click outside the box and notice that you've got your fraction. And then once you've got your fraction you just highlight the region around like a text box and pull and drag it to where you need it to be. Okay, I'll just move this out and I want to make this a little bigger so I'm going to adjust the font size accordingly. Okay, well let's make it even bigger. Change it from 14 to let's say 18. Okay, good. You'll follow a similar procedure in PowerPoint. Once again all you need to do is head on over to the uh, menu bar here, the, the tabs at the top left here, click on insert, head on over to the pi icon, and then choose x over y fraction, choose your format and then type in the numerator and the denominator. Then you can click and drag but you have to wait till you get the crosshairs. You don't want to get the other uh, directional arrows like this to make it bigger or what have you. You want to get the uh, crosshair one and then pull it up to where you need it to be. Okay, easy enough. Now let's move on to superscripts. A superscript is basically when you want to raise a number, let's say in an exponent, x to the y, the y would be the superscript, and the x would be the regular text. So let's say we had to type in 10 to the third power. Well, there are two ways to do this in Word. First way, again, would be to click on the Insert tab and the equation or pi icon, and then head on over here to where it says e to the x, or script. Click on that and then choose the left format box and you can type in in the lower left in this case 10 to the 3 or 10 to the third power would be 10 and then take your mouse and click in the exponent box and type in 3. Click outside the box and there you have it 10 to the third power. And here's a second way I think it's a little quicker than the one I just showed you for how to type in an exponent in Microsoft Word. And there's a slight difference between a Mac version of Word and a PC version or Windows version. For the Mac, after you type in 10, in order to get the superscript or the exponent part, you hold down Command, Shift, and the plus key, and notice that the cursor will actually jump a half step up for the exponent part now. Now you're in superscript mode and type in the number 3. If you were to continue typing for whatever reason, you would still be in superscript mode. But most of us don't, don't want to do that, so in order to revert back to the regular text mode, 
once again just hit command shift and plus and that'll take you back to the regular text mode you follow the same procedure for PC or window versions of Microsoft Word the only difference is instead of command shift plus you hold down control shift plus in PowerPoint we would follow the similar steps as we followed in Microsoft Word we would click on insert head on over to the pi icon for equation scientific notation and then click on the e to the x icon click on the left top left box here and you're prompted for your numbers so click inside the lower left in this case we're raising three to the second power so in the lower left box we would type in three and in the exponent box we would type in two and then you would simply grab this box and move it wherever you need it on your slide I like the keyboard shortcut approach in Word because it's a little bit quicker when you're typing text but I find that in PowerPoint it's easier to use the e to the x uh, superscript icon and finally we have recurring decimals and this is when we have a pattern of digits after the decimal point that's recurring ad infinitum or infinitely or forever and ever if we take the fraction one-third for example we type in the fraction again like this and we have one over three okay and that's equal to uh, 0 0.3333333 and that's never ending okay but in mathematics we don't type out recurring decimals this way this might work for English literature but it doesn't work in mathematics or in science so in order to notate this properly we need to place a bar over the recurring pattern of decimals so you can choose the first one if you want if you feel more comfortable putting a bar over 0 0.33 in this case that works too just remember to highlight the text that you want to place the bar over and then head on over to insert pi icon and then click on where it says accent that's the small a with the two dots on top of it click on that scroll down to where it says over bars and under bars but click on the over bars one and notice now that you have an over bar that appears over the recurring digits or recurring decimals in PowerPoint it's slightly different only because we're dealing with slides here which are graphic representations and so you have to actually place the scientific notation or the mathematical notation inside of a text box so we're laying text down onto a graphic slide if you will so we need to click first on the text box open up a text box and then type in in this case we have two-thirds so I would once again I just want to show the fraction first so we click on insert the pi icon x over y upper left corner uh, 2 divided by 3 and that's um, equal to and I want to show that it's equal to 0 0.666 repeating okay this is not the way we write it in mathematics or in science um, so let's say we just wanted to place the bar over the point six. okay well what we would need to do actually is type in the zero point the decimal point and then head on over to insert pi icon a accent icon pull down over bar and then notice that it actually sets up an over bar for you and it's waiting for you to type in the digit that's recurring and there you have it that's how you can format fractions superscripts and recurring decimals in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe and share it with your friends you should also check out some of my other videos at consumermathlab.blogspot.com and also wealthmaxbuilder.com where I talk about investing for personal finance there are some awesome videos available and you should check them out when you get a chance Thanks so much for watching. This is Rich Warner for Consumer Math and Personal Finance. Have a great day.